Hey everybody, how's it going? Marcos Viegas being joined with Chris Van Heerden. Chris, I uh, just wanted to get your reaction to the news that uh, Connor Ben and Chris Eubank Jr., the fight potentially uh, could get canceled due to an adverse finding of uh, Ben's drug test per a VADA test. Um, just overall, you know, your, your initial reaction to that. Yeah, I woke up this morning to, to a bunch of messages on my phone and people say, hey, you know what, you lost to a cheat, you lost to that. And I went on the internet and I looked and I saw the results. And I was kind of, you know, it hurts, you know, it hurts because, you know, I'm clean. You, you, we step in a ring to fight as two warriors. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's an occupation where, where, where someone could die. You know, that's what we risk. And then to have someone cheat and, and use something to beat you, I'm okay. I am not a sore loser. I am okay to lose to someone that's beating me fair and square. But to lose to someone and not saying he cheated when he fought me, but to say to lose to someone that potentially cheated, that that hurts you. And you question, you question a lot of things. Now, I fought Errol Spence. Errol Spence hit me a lot, didn't wobble me once. I fought Ennis, even though it went one round. I got caught by Ennis. I didn't go down. I fought Kaiser Mabuz. I fought big punches in my career. I've never, ever been dropped. And then I fight Conor Ben, and he hits me, and I'm buzzed, and I'm out of it. I mean, I don't know what, but um, it kind of hurts, and it kind of sucks, and I, and I, it hurt my career. My, the loss to Conor Ben, it did hurt my career. Um, hopefully, this will put a little light on my career and say, hey, you know what? Who knows? But yeah, I'm, I'm I'm disappointed. I don't know if it's true. I don't know, but I don't believe a second test on a B sample ever changes. I believe it's it's always the same. Um, barely, rarely ever does it, does a B sample come back different result. Um, yeah, man, sucks sucks for boxing. Now you mentioned just right now. I've been hit by Ennis. I've been hit by uh, Spence, and for some reason Ben, when he hit me. Uh, you know, he put me down and put me down. Um, with that being said, then, do, do you have a suspicion that something might have been been off uh, with the whole situation? Hey, man, that fight? You, know, you know what? Now, now that you look at it, and you go, OK, well, he tested positive and all of these things come out. You go, OK, the guy's confidence. Where does he get that confidence? Like his confidence is through the roof, man. Um, yes, he's a hard worker, but I, anybody can be a phenomenal hard worker if they use substance to promote that. You know, um, I now question it, and I and I now go, why, why, why get hit by Connor, and I'm out of it, like, like, um, yeah, man, that's it's, it brings up the question. I cannot help it. I'm not a sore loser. I'm not a bad loser, but I cannot help it now to 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 bring up the question and say, man, I cannot remember if I'm thinking clearly right now. We did not get VADA tested before the fight. We did not get VADA tested before the fight. We did took a urine sample afterwards, but we did not do a, any testing before the fight. The the testing protocol for your guys' fight, was it just uh, the, the simple UCAD uh, testing? Urine, yeah, the urine. The, 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 after, after, after the fight, simple uh, urine testing, um, like usually, yeah. But there was no testing before, or even, even in training camp, I had no testing and I'm a clean athlete. You know, my biggest fear in my career is to ever test positive for anything and then be looked at as a cheater. So, so I go in it clean and you, and you would think that whoever you are fighting goes with the same mentality and they play fair. Um, I like Conor Ben. We mates. But, but how do one look past this? You know, I cannot help but to, to bring up the question and say, man, did I, lose to a, did I lose fairly? Did I really lose to a better guy? Did I lose to a guy that it clearly was fair on the night. Now I'm suspicious. You know, given what's going on right now, people aren't sure if the event should or should not be canceled. Yeah. Um, Eubank Jr. wants the fight to go on. Ben wants the fight to go on. Um, what What do you think? You know, see, you being okay. a fighter, right. what should see, happen? It happened. Yeah, see, now, as, as, as it happened right now, a couple of days out from the fight, it's fight week. I can understand Eubanks wants the fight to go on. I, if, if I was in, in this situation, 100%, I would have said, let the fight go on. Let it go on. I'm hungry. I want to fight. Let this fight go on. 
and and we'll deal with the matter afterwards. Um, but then again, you know, we're putting so much pressure on the boxing board because should something go wrong in the fight and somebody get really badly hurt, if all fingers point to the commission and go, but you guys allowed this to go on. So I, I so I understand why the commission would not want this to go on. But as a fighter and as a fight fan, I would say, you know what, let it go. L let the fight happen. It's fight week. I mean, and then deal with the matter afterwards. That's just how I feel as a fighter. Now, you as a fighter, but on the outside, given the information that you do know, do you feel the fight should happen? No. No. Because, because like I said, we're in an occupation. We're in an occupation where two people go to work at night and one might not come out of it alive. That's the thing we do. You know, people, fight, fighters die. Fight, fighters get brain damage. And um, if you're going to not play fair, why risk? Why risk? Why risk that? So, no. You know, it, and and I feel and I feel we need to be way more stricter in the sport of boxing. So when when a, when a fighter do get tested and they do cheat, I feel like they need to be punished much harsher. I feel like I feel like fighters get off just way too easy these days, and I feel like they need to they need somebody needs to set an example and say, boom, this is this is the price you're gonna pay for cheating. And I think it's because of that where a lot of fighters just feel like they could get get away with it. Because there's, there's not such a harsh punishment for it. Yeah, that, that was going to be my next question as to what sort of repercussions should Man, happen. There, there's got to be a ban. There's got to be a, a three-year ban. Or, or, you know, it depends on what depends on how badly this is. A, a lifelong ban. I know it's harsh. I know it, it, it's, it's harsh. But you could kill someone, potentially kill. So you could potentially take someone's life. You know, a three-year ban... I think a three-year ban would would scare a lot of fighters. A lot of fighters. You know, given too, it, it looks like the promoters, um, and you know, obviously they, they're looking at it as a as a business sense, and I don't think not so much as an integrity a, a, of sports sense, which I, I feel they should. But you know, they, they've invested a lot of money. The the networks have invested a lot of money. They they seem to want the event to go I on. I, I read a thing that they're looking for another commission. To go ahead and sanction the fight, yeah. just overall your your thoughts on that? Yeah, like like again, like like uh, like, it's a business for the promoters and and for the fighters, but but at the end of the day, it's the two fighters getting in there and it's their little lads on the line. So so I understand why the promoters are like, oh, this fight should go on, this fight should go on, and I can understand Connor's frustration of like, oh, this fight should go on because he's the one cheating, so he's he's the one with all the confidence in the world. Um. I see Eubank wants the fight to go on, which 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 says a lot about Eubank willing to take the fight. Um, but yes, the the fight shouldn't. In fairness, the fight shouldn't, um, because of the lives at risk. Yeah, and that's just how I feel. What sort of example or precedent do you feel it sets if the fight does go on in a different country or a different um? Sank under a sink, different sanctioning body. See, then, then, then the next person and the next person and the next person, they are all just gonna find another way to cheat the system. So it doesn't set a good example. It, 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 it honestly doesn't. So, um, I just hope that the, the right thing gets done here. Yeah, you know, circling back on, on something you said uh, about uh, Ben's power and, and you having fought Jerron Ennis and Errol Spence. How different was Connor's power compared to those so guys? So this is the thing. This is this is the thing, right? Like I've been hit by by Spence a lot. I've been hit by Ennis to know that when Ennis touched me, he didn't drop me. But when he hit me, I was like, "Oh boy!" Ennis's power is even more than Spence's power. I'll tell you that. Wow. Oh, I tell you that hundred percent. I said that from from after the fight. I said, "I got so when 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 Ennis hit me, I got a little scared in the sense of like, oh damn, this is different different power." The thing is, around one, if you go look at around one, me being inactive, you know, I just wanted to catch the rhythm. If you listen, listen to the commentary, they gave me a good round one. And even one of the judges gave me round one. So I really didn't get caught in round one. I, I, I didn't get caught in round one to go, oh, wow, like, like be aware. But the one punch that did catch me in round two, 
I buzzed the moment he caught me. It, it, I buzzed. I was out of it. So, so there wasn't time for me to really absorb his power and go, okay, the boy's got power. I mean, when he touched me on the chin, I was buzzing. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So it's 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 weird. Because I've been hit, I've been hit by heavy hitters. I've been hit by heavy hitters, and I'm known for being a tough kid. I'm known for that. And then one punch, one punch just took me out of it. And yes, we're in boxing, we're in a sport where one punch does change everything. But then I go back and I go, okay, well, the fight just before me he knocked out Chris Ojiri in a bad fashion. I'm like in a bad way, and I'm like, all of a sudden, this kid now brings a, I bring it even back now to to Chris Ojiri. Was he using anything when he fought Ojiri? Because Pacquiao hit Algeri, dropped him, but didn't knock him out in that fashion. And then here comes Conan and, and destroys Algeri with one ugly punch, puts me down with one punch. I mean, we fighters, and I'm not a sore loser again. I'm not a bad loser, but I cannot help to now question. Yeah, um, I, I would imagine prior opponents might question now. Um... Yes. The, the, their especially fights. in the fashion, especially in the fashion, he did it right. Mm -hmm. I was so confident in beating Conor Ben. I'll tell you this: I've been, I've been, I was so confident that I was going to beat Conor Ben, especially after round one, because he were, I, I tagged him easily. Being inactive, keep in mind, I've been inactive for over two years. Then getting there and then start tagging in Conor Ben in round one, I was like, man, wait till I get my rhythm. Just give me two or three rounds. Let let the nerves settle down. Once I get my rhythm and my movement and my speed, I was like so confident, so confident that tonight's my night and I'm going to beat Conor Ben and I'll be back on the map. And then, you know, okay, one punch to pound, that's boxing. But um, I still have fight in me. I, I still have so much fight in me. And I still see, I see it. I spar with some some undefeated guys here in, in California. And I, I still have it. So what is next for me? I am just hoping to get another shot, man. I'm still in it. I, I'm still in this fight. Maybe a Sergey Lipinet. I, I've sparred Sergey. I love Sergey. He's a he's a warrior. But I'd like I I'd fancy a fight against Sergey. Um, there's still names out there. You know, luckily my name is in that because I fought Spence. I fought Ennis. I fought Conor Ben. I fought some big names. So I feel like I'm gonna get another shot. Some up and coming guys gonna call me out or or I'm gonna be looked up over again. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it guys.